students let's take a look at the present condition of women in our country do you think they have equal opportunities as men a provision for equal opportunities for all without any discrimination has been enshrined in the indian constitution various schemes programs and other provisions provided for women have helped a great deal in the empowerment of women but students do you think that women are on par with men and there is no discrimination in today's class let's take a look at the prejudice faced by women and the various measures taken by the governments to eliminate such discriminations you must have heard from your elders and must have read about the way women lived in the olden days and how men were given priority over women women were not even considered worthy of an education here is an exercise for you make a list of the fields in which women have moved ahead when compared to the olden times also make a list of the areas in which women still need to advance the women from the olden days were expected to cook clean take care of children etc while the men went to work in the fields or factories etc the women were also expected to act according to the wishes of her husband or her family strange isn't it although we witness all of this even now in case the woman goes out to work she has to complete both her household chores and cater to her professional work many women are also victims to abuse from drunken husbands why do you think women have to undergo all this and not men let's have a look women by nature are physically weak when compared to men on the other hand women are emotionally more giving loving and caring taking care of children comes naturally to them and they have been attuned to do household activities men have always been categorized as the protectors of women students what would your opinion be let's do a small exercise write down a list of qualities that are unique to men and women and qualities that are common in both all that you need to do is to see which qualities define whom more what do we learn from defining qualities like caring assertiveness etc It is understood that these qualities apply equally to both the men as well as women. For example, many men love and care. Many women are brave and courageous. But what happens in reality? We tend to attribute some qualities to men and some qualities to women. The major difference between men and women is the way their bodies have been formed by nature. Nature has created a woman in such a way that she can give birth to children and feed them in their early months. Does this mean that women are entitled to only take care of children and other household activities? Exactly students. No, it is not like that. Men also can help women in their daily activities and their household chores. The only problem is that over the years the definition of a woman being responsible for home and children has been ingrained into our brains hence people have gotten comfortable with this defined role the way the society has assigned the role of women as a homemaker from the ancient days is the reason why we regard it as the natural role of the women history is an example which shows so many rulers and kings who were men and who made the rules these rules were made in such a way that women were given subordinate roles to men and hence were controlled by men so students what differences do you find between men and women the physical differences which are a result of the nature's creation the second difference between the men and women is the way the society has given subordinate roles to the women and hence treats them unequally differences of this kind that lead to discrimination and inequality are called gender differences or socially caused differences
Can you believe that even today girls and boys are treated unequally? Many a times the girls are discriminated right from their birth. Students, it has been observed that the sex ratio or the percentage of the population of women compared to that of men had been on a decline. According to statistics, there were 945 women for every thousand men in 1951. In 1981, it came down to 931 women for every thousand men. In 2011, it increased to 940 women for every thousand men. If this is the situation in the country, what do you think would be the condition in our own state, Andhra Pradesh? When it comes to Andhra Pradesh, the proportion of women has increased. This has made Andhra Pradesh stand among one of the best states in terms of sex ratio. In 1991, there were 972 women for every thousand men. When it came to 2011, the number increased to 992 women for every thousand men. On the other hand, the ratio of girls to boys under 6 years of age has been rapidly decreasing. In 1991, the ratio of girls was 975 to 1000 boys. In 2001, it decreased to 961. In 2011, the proportion of girls was 943 for 1000 boys. What does this convey? How would you interpret such an analysis? This clearly points out that the situation is becoming worse due to discrimination and negligence. Very few girls below the age of 6 are surviving. Doctors believe that in normal circumstances there should be 1000 women for every 1000 men in the population. But if that is not the case, then it shows the status and condition of living of girls and women in our society. This also points out that the female population is unable to live a healthy life and is succumbing to death before men. Students, what do you think are the reasons for this proportional decrease? One of the main reasons is many infant girls die within one month of their birth due to lack of care. In addition, those girls who survive die before the age of five due to similar reasons of lack of care. They are not given healthy and nutritious food as a result of which they fall victims to many kinds of diseases and do not get proper medical facilities. Hence, they die. Can you guess other reasons for lesser girls when compared to boys? Yes, female infanticide is one of the main reasons for this decline in the sex ratios. The girl children are being killed in the mother's womb even before they are born. Many private healthcare centers that illegally reveal the sex of a yet to be born baby are one of the main causes of such infanticides. Discrimination in various areas is one of the main ailments in the society today. Let's have a look at discrimination in education for the girl child. Many girls may not be as lucky as all of us in getting educated. The girls even today are not allowed to go to school. Instead, they are made to remain at home and do the household work or work in fields or employed as child labor. Very few girls who go to school have little time to study as they also have to catch up on a lot of household work after the school. Do you know that girls are discouraged from taking subjects like mathematics or science while boys are discouraged from taking subjects like home science? Isn't this a clear image of discrimination? This discrimination in education has led to low literacy rates in women. In Andhra Pradesh, it is estimated that only 6 out of 10 women can read and write. An even lesser number gets sufficient education to get employed.
properties like land factories houses if you observe are mostly owned by men although the law provides for equal share of property between the sons and daughters what happens in reality only a few women get a share in their parents property since it is usually the sons who inherit property students what do you think are the result of such discrimination the discrimination in access to property has led to very little or no control for women over the resources that include the lands shops or factories as a result the women have to be economically dependent on their husbands fathers or the brothers or sons isn't it disturbing students that women still continue to live and tolerate such lives of discrimination with improper nourishment and inadequate education what do you think is the status of employment for women women have fewer opportunities to get employed with decent salaries because of lack of access to health and education many a times it happens that well educated women are not allowed to work as they are tied down with household work for a long time the women are therefore forced to take up part time jobs or less demanding jobs to meet the economic needs of the family the women who do not have the required qualifications are forced to work in the fields or as laborers which often are exhausting and many a times lack dignity and security don't you think the conditions have improved a little when compared to the olden days now women have begun to enter different areas of profession like men and are heading towards progress here's an exercise for you collect images of women who have entered diverse fields and have made the world proud these are some of the initial stages for better condition of women in the society gender biases have to be broken to bring about equality of men and women in the society many of your mothers may be housewives isn't it what do you think they do all the day yes most of the mothers as housewives are working throughout the day they are catering to the various needs of the families continuously but students do you think they get enough recognition for their work many a times i have heard children and other working people argue that housewives have nothing much to do do you think that is right when we say farmers we think of men who work in the fields but here's something interesting lack of recognition according to statistics 8 out of every 10 working women in india work in the fields as many women work on their family farms they earn very little even the wages they earn on other people's farms is lower than what men get most importantly The household work done by women is not recognized most of the time. And did you notice the women don't get paid for their dedicated and committed work at home? Students, here's an exercise for you. Why don't you make a list of all the activities done as part of household work by your mother at home? So this is today's class on gender equality. Hope all of us would appreciate what our mothers do for us. and work towards gender equality have a great day